camping. Today we're doing a business uh, interview and we have chosen Pet Life. <laughs> and I'm Shannon, one of the owners at Pet Life. And I'm Kelly. The other owner at Pet Life. <laughs> the other owner at Pet Life. So, the two of you own Pet Life. Um, what kind of things do you do here? And uh, what do you sell? And, and what is the, the fun stuff here? Uh, well, we try and keep it mostly Canadian with foods and products as much as we can. Some of the stateside stuff. Offer nail trims. We lots do of our fun. everything's yeah. fun here. Treat Tuesday, <laughs> Fun Friday. We got lots of specials on. Ah, so Treat Tuesday. That's so what, today. That's today. <laughs> as I will be picking up treats for my puppy. Mm -hmm. Um what uh what is Treat Tuesday and uh, for you guys? So what what's the is there a deal or is yeah, it just so we do anywhere from ten to twenty percent off treats. Today is twenty percent off treats and it's all treats, dog, cat, small animal, horse, you name it, it's perfect. Yeah. So, as I said, we, we try to do these uh, business interviews um, to promote uh, business in Drayton Valley currently. Um, so, we're going to start off, as we do all our videos, with a um, uh, fun fact. And did you guys know that uh, dogs that are uh, for C9 can be commanded to urinate and defecate on command? So I makes it did easy. not know that. <laughs> no, that was something I learned today. And I'm a dog lover. I was like, ah. Oh. And our fun quote is, uh, a dog is the only, what do they have here? The only thing on earth that uh, loves its humans more than himself. Yeah. So, and yeah. <laughs> as a dog lover, I can tell you that that's how it is. All right. So, again, um, let's start with, uh, tell me about your company and why you're so passionate about it. We are so passionate about it because we both have a love of animals. Um, Shannon and I met working together and we just kind of, it kind of grew from there. Something we're both very passionate about. Yeah. And our slogan is your pet, our priorities. So that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, you guys don't sell pets per other no. than the betas, right? No. We do support the local shelters and That's awesome. put their names out there for people to adopt. And... Perfect. All right, so with question number two, um, if you could go camping today, well, I mean, it's actually it's pretty nice. Temperature-wise, it's nice. Um, would you do tent camping, RV camping, or would you come glamping? Do you guys know what glamping is? I would... In a motel? Wow, almost. <laughs> it's uh, we actually had two glamping sites down at the at the uh, elevated experience camping this year, and we'll have four for next year. And basically, it's everything that you could want in a hotel room, but you're out in the wilderness, so you get your. Uh, in ours, we have uh, there's no running water, but we have a water cooler. You get uh, your bedding. The only thing you have to bring is your pillows and your uh, food, and we will even take care of your food. So. Sold. <laughs> That's my kind of camping. That is, yeah. that is my kind of camping. So you, you guys are flying for ten minutes. I do RV. You do just RV? not tenting. Not tenting. Yeah. yeah, I cut out tenting a long time ago. It's too hard of a job. Yeah. How many days a week do you guys work? And uh, and what uh, what does a basic work day look for you guys? Uh, Monday through Saturday, closed Sundays for family day, basically. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Our day we. Come in, feed all our beta fish, yeah. and then stock and tidy and staying on top of the cleaning. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what our days look like. And then paperwork and stuff, you guys stay after work, or is it pretty much once the door is closed, that's it? And, yeah. And Hit the door. Uh, yeah. That's, yeah. That's yeah. What I wish it would like that with the camping. All right, guys. So um, when you go camping, if you could take five comfort items, what would those five items be and why would you take them? <laughs> Kelly? Okay. Uh, I would definitely take my bed, yeah. my TV, yeah. and my internet. <laughs> uh, definitely my dog, Bentley. Yeah. And maybe I'd let my husband come. Wow. <laughs> and how about you? Uh, my husband, yes. my three kids, yes. and Raven the dog. Oh. So that's... And why would you bring all those? Because those are my comfort items. Oh. <laughs> I don't need much else. No. <laughs>
Fair. I'm like, bad TV first. <laughs> See, in the in the glassing sites, you get to, uh, we have a 42 inch TV. We don't have internet, but you do get satellite TV. So it does kind of, yeah. you, you don't have to bring, and the bed. So you, you've already cleaned that TV. Yeah, that's and very then you, cool. And uh, you just got to bring the husband, but you know, it's very nice, right? <laughs> So as a business owner, what are your priorities and how do you fulfill them here? Uh, priority number one is the health and well-being of, you know, anyone that comes in with a dog with a problem or just a maintenance. So yeah. we try and carry everything that we can. If we can't, we'll bring it in. That's our main priority, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Answering yeah. all of that. I think you got it. <laughs> <laughs> And then how about with uh, during COVID is, uh, how is that, I know with our business it's been, it adds, it, it's a taxing on to everything else, but uh, um, how have you guys handled that and how do you feel about that? And um, I think being new, we don't, like as far as the business sense and, you know, how well we're doing now, um, just opening up this year during the whole COVID time, we don't know much different than, you know, all the different protocols and yeah. procedures and stuff that we have to follow. So, so it basically so just was what it is. Yeah, every <laughs> day now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we should have, we should probably <clears throat> still have said that you guys are a brand new, a fairly new company yeah. and, or uh, business here in Drayton. And uh, you did happen to open right at the beginning of yes. the uh, restrictions of, yes. of COVID. Mm -hmm. Same as, uh, as Elevator too, it, it was, uh, it was just thrown at you, and you're like, yeah. this is what we got to do, yeah. right? <laughs> so, I can't think question. Um, what is the scariest or craziest thing that you have done while camping? I don't really remember the whole situation, but I was seven <laughs> months pregnant. We oh. were tenting. Yeah. Haven't tented a lot, right? Haven't camped a lot. And... Uh, Apparently there was a bear walking by right beside our tent and my husband was awake and the park warden come in and they were shooing away this bear and he finally woke me up and said what had happened. So I guess <laughs> it would have been scary, but it was probably a good thing I was sleeping. That's perfect. How about yourself? I don't have any crazy camping stories because I don't camp a lot. Oh. I have like, no, I don't have any. Nothing? Hmm. Not that I can think of. Perfect. Uh, and nothing scary, nothing crazy. Not even as a teenager, kid. Did you camp as a kid? No. No? No. Parents weren't campers? Nope. No. We we took our kids, like we had an RV and, and did camping with our kids. Drum Heller. Yeah. We, went, we went and did Drum Heller. Um, that was fun. Which is Alberta camping. And when we were down in Drumheller, what kind of things did you guys do? Uh, the museum. Yeah. The Tyrell. Tyrell. Yeah, I think that's yeah. what it was. Um, the museum, the hoodoos. The basic tours. The bridge, everything. Yeah. Everything. I like the giant dinosaur. I, uh, that dinosaur I climbed so many times. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So if you have one piece of uh, advice for a uh, new business owner starting out, what would it be? Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> just go for it um if it's in your heart like animals have been a big part of my life my whole life um and it's just something i'm passionate about so is shannon yeah just go for it trust yourself and just not do it in the COVID time right as, yeah as, as you guys it's are. a little more stressful yeah <laughs> for sure <laughs> perfect and shannon yeah same thing same thing take the risks go as long as you're passionate go for it yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, uh, it's uh, every time I've been in here, you guys are 100% customer service driven and and make every experience feel like you're just one part of the family here, yeah. right? And that, that's why I really appreciate coming here compared to uh, big box stores. I'm I feel like you guys really bring up people in and and you know it, it's that homey mm -hmm. kind of feel here. So. So what was your most memorable camping trip? Um, probably just going down to uh, Drum Heller with the kids, doing the go-karts. And uh, yeah, my kids were a little wild on go-karts for yeah. sure. Um, yeah, just, and them 
being able to meet new kids and I think that's probably the best part of it right the kids are all out and playing and you know meeting somebody for the first time and Perfect. making a weekend of it awesome and yourself my most memorable when my kids were little <laughs> um, because I'm not huge into camping we would compromise and uh, stay close to home at Wiley West Bingo. Yeah, and uh, the kids loved it there yeah. like they could ride their bikes around we're close to the river yep. playground like they had so much fun there that that would probably be and see we got so much new stuff there now we got mini golf we have um, see, I didn't know my kids are grown now. <laughs> now you just got dragon with them. Come on, right? Uh, yeah, we've got so much new stuff there. We large rent, uh, large game rentals. We have, like I said, mini golf next year because of COVID this year. We'll have an arcade there. Oh, um, neat. Yeah, there's, uh, and now the glamping sites. We'll have a food trailer this year. We're, uh, that's another project that we're working on right now. So, yeah, awesome. it's one of those kind of cool things. What is your most satisfying moment in your business so far? And why is that? Return customers. <laughs> you know, when we, when, when we see somebody come back, um, it, it feels good because it feels like we, we made them happy. Yeah. Um, and chances are, for me, anyhow, I'm remembering your dog's name before I'm remembering your name. Beautiful. Your Rex is mom or dad or you know it just that's how i refer to people and you know your pet is the priority here yeah and how about you yeah same same thing kelly pretty much <laughs> nailed that one or um for every pet that comes in because they're a part of our family they get their picture taken we put it on the wall so when they come back and they see their dog on the wall it's pretty awesome because you know, like they're looking for it, right? They're yeah. looking for their dog. In there. Yeah. And I do, I do love that you guys do hang up all the pictures with yeah. us. We have a lot more to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I haven't seen my puppy up I there know. yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. Um, it's uh, again. It, it relates back down to that customer service that you guys provide. That it's uh, it just makes you feel part of a family instead of just being a business, right? You're yeah. you're really a, a family. Mm -hmm. Um, so, because uh, this is a franchise. No, nope. no, nope. you guys it's private, it's private, owned? privately owned, or locally owned and operated. It's just I'm born and life. raised Drayton Valley. Perfect. Yeah. And how about you? I was born in Ontario, but yeah. we moved to, to Alberta here. Mom was raised in Brooks, so Brooks. I do have some Alberta, Alberta roots. roots. Yeah. 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 That's but awesome. Yeah. We'll start with you. Oh, great. <laughs> if you could bring three famous people camping, any people, they can be alive, dead, um, political or not, who, what three people would you bring and why would you bring those three people? Famous people? Can I just bring like three bands and we just have a big party? That, <laughs> yeah. I, Doesn't matter what band. No. I'll listen to any kind and of music. Then, what would be your three favorite bands that bring that? Um, we could do some... ACDC, we could do some Blake Shelton, Alan Jackson, get some oh. time in there. So, yeah. Oh, that's, see, I like Alan Jackson. That would be fun. <laughs> and I'm not a big country fan. I like Alan Jackson. Okay. Uh, definitely, my first person would be Bear Grylls. Yeah. Because uh, no matter what, we're going to be okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love to laugh. So, and it's nice to have someone nice to look at. So, Ryan Reynolds. Oh, perfect. Um, and just because I don't want to have to do any cooking or anything, Martha Stewart, because she would make everything look pretty. You know what? Martha Stewart is actually a phenomenal camper too. Well, there you go she then. Her and Bear got us. You know, you've got one person to catch food and one person to cook the food. Yeah. Look at yeah. That. You yeah. just put your feet up and... Uh, and then you just got to be a little bit closer to uh, over there. So to the party. Party, party and, trail. That's uh, right. Hey, you got, you got We're set. Out. We're set. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And one last question. What if you mixed a cat and a dog? What kind of animal would it be? Ooh. A dad. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a dad. A dog. Um, oh. Cat and a dog. Well, because cats really don't want to have much to do with you, yeah, but dogs are obsessed with you. Yeah. Oh, oh kind of weird. I think. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, my name's Jason. My name's Shannon. Kelly. We are currently at Pet Life at Ian Drayton Valley, and we want to say, uh, come shop local. Yes, right? Definitely. That's important. Yes, yes absolutely. absolutely. And, and camp local. <laughs> yeah. And happy camping and take care. <laughs>